How's it going? Eric here from LED Grow Lights Depot. This review is of the Arden Lighting Emerald Hammer EH500 LED Grow Light. All right, let's get right into this. This fixture comes discreetly shipped and it is single boxed. However, the fixture is wrapped in bubble wrap to protect it. So I'm just gonna unwrap the bubble wrap, take it out and get a first look at it. And this fixture comes with a few things. So the first thing is a power cord, under 20 volts, a screwdriver, a couple stickers, and a user manual. So the parts that should come with it, basic instructions on how to use it, how to dim the fixture, and a few specs. All right, let's put that aside. Give you a closer look at the board here. You can see the Samsung strips. And now I'm going to flip it over. And a Meanwell driver on the back. So, very simple unit. Okay, I'm going to put this down, take out the cord, and plug it in. All right. It's actually pretty bright. Camera's just adjusting for the light intensity. Notice that there's only white and red diodes on this unit, which I'm going to talk about a little bit more in a few. The EH500 can be used in grow tents, grow rooms, or any space where you need to replace a single-ended 1000 watt HPS. The unit measures 28 inches by 26 inches and weighs only 18 pounds. The meanwhile driver sits on the back of the passively cooled LED grow light and powers the Samsung strips on the front side of the EH500. The LEDs are conformally coated to mitigate sulfurization and protect against humidity and chemicals. The entire unit is quite simple with minimal bells and whistles minus the dimming feature. The onboard dimmer for this fixture is found on the Meanwell HLG 480H48A driver and allows you to adjust the intensity down to 50% or more. Dimming can be quite helpful during the early stages of growth and during the vegetative stage when plants do not need as much light. The EH500 is coated in a highly reflective antimicrobial white paint. This LED grow light can accept 100 volt to 277 volt power. At 120 volts, the fixture pulls 492 watts from the wall and 4.23 amps at full intensity. With the dimmer all the way down, the wattage draw is 157 watts at 1.34 amps. Expect about 2.1 amps at 240 volt at full intensity. A maximum of 1,705 BTUs of heat are emitted from the EH500. At this time, the fixture is not ETL or UL certified, which may be required for commercial grows in some states. The Emerald Hammer EH500 is made by Arden Lighting Tech. They are a Milwaukee-based U.S. company who have experience in food processing and agriculture in addition to horticulture. Arden offers a three-year full manufacturer's warranty on the EH500. This fixture is full spectrum for seed to harvest growth. You only need to adjust the intensity during the growth stage. Full intensity is recommended for flowering. You're not able to alter the spectrum on the EH500. The Spectrum is made up of highly efficient, market-leading Samsung LM301H white, my best guess is about 5000K or 6500K, and Samsung LH351H deep red 660 nanometer diodes. With such a cool white diode and a healthy amount of red, there are two obvious peaks at around 450 nanometers and 660 nanometers. Yes, a lot of green and other wavelengths are present for a healthy grow. The green also allows for a more natural looking spectrum in which to view your plants. For those of you who care about the color rendering index of a grow light, the fixture has a CRI of over 90. The diodes will last 50,000 hours or more. Expect around 1,305 micromoles per second of light with an efficacy of 2.6 micromoles per joule from the EH500 at full power. Given this intensity, you can flower up to a 4x4 area with a canopy distance of 20 inches to 24 inches. 
and veg in up to a 6x6 area at around 36 inches from the canopy. I took temperature gun readings of the back of the heat sink after the fixture was running for about 30 minutes or so. You can see we're hitting right around 110 Fahrenheit, which is actually really good for a fixture built like this. These diodes can take right around 80 degrees Celsius, and we're not even close to that. So overall, I was impressed with the temperature of the EH500. Essentially, you can keep your hand on the back of the heat sink and not burn it. Arden Lighting took par readings of the EH500 in a 4x4 grow tent at 18 inches, 24 inches, and 36 inches. They also took readings in an open air environment with no reflective surfaces at the same distance. You can see those readings here. Note the higher average PAR readings in a tent compared to open air. There is a 21% PPFD increase at 18 inches from open air to a tent, 30% increase at 24 inches, and a 47% increase at 36 inches. All right now, let's view my PAR readings in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent. The first reading is going to be at 36 inches above the bottom of the tent. We're hitting almost 700 PPFD right dead center. And moving the PAR meter back to the back of the tent. It's right around 570. And into the corner. Looks like 510. And to this other side, which should be similar to the back. Right around 560. So really good uniformity at 36 inches. This would be perfect for veg. However, I wouldn't necessarily recommend flowering at this intensity, or excuse me, at this height. I'm gonna wanna move it a little bit closer. And I'm gonna show you um, what the PPFD is gonna look like at 24 inches. And this is at 24 inches. So 24 inches, we're hitting over a thousand PPFD in the center. Moving it to the back. Right around 750. And then into the corner. It's about half of the center reading, about 550, 560. And right around 725. So this would be a good flowering distance, um, good intensity. However, you might want to move it a little bit closer. So I think 18 inches would be a little too close. So next, I'm gonna show you what the readings are gonna look like at 22 inches. So 22 inches. Almost 1200 PPFD. So slightly more intensity in the middle and just a little bit outside the middle. And looks like, from what I remember correctly, a little bit higher intensities on the edges. And about the same in the corner. And on this other edge, about 735 PPFD, and then back to the center. So I'd say right around 24 inches, 22 inches, these would be good flowering heights. Good veg height, 36 inches. Remember, you have the dimmer on there. So if you want to uh, veg at these heights, I would just recommend dimming it down to 50%, 70%, somewhere around there. So what's my opinion of this fixture? Overall, I really like this fixture. It was bigger than I expected, which is great because it provides fairly good coverage over a 4x4 space. It has similar coverage compared to other fixtures in the same realm as this one, such as the Horticulture Lighting Group HLG 550V2 or the Spider Farmer SF4000. It has better coverage than some of the lower quality lights on the market, but not as even coverage as vertical grow style fixtures such as the Gavita Pro 1700E, Grower's Choice ROI E680, or the Science LED Raging Kush. However, it is less expensive than these last three fixtures, so you get what you pay for. The spectrum appears to be quite good with these two heavy blue and red peaks while still providing a good amount of green light. It kind of reminds me of the Apache Tech white and red spectrum, which I have heard gets really good results. The fixture is made up of good quality components by Samsung and Meanwell, so I can only speak highly of it in this department. The diode quality and efficacy is of the best at this point in time, and Arden got it right on their first horticulture fixture, so cheers to that. 
Furthermore, growers will find a dimming feature helpful for other stages of growth, and there's really no need to adjust the spectrum, which again, this fixture doesn't offer, if you want to just get up and get growing quickly and not risk making any mistakes. Now, what are the downsides of this fixture? Hmm, honestly, I don't think there are too many. If everything about this light sounds great, then this light is for you. I understand that there's some growers that might want spectrum control and very even coverage in a 4x4 space, so if that's the case, there are other fixtures that will meet these needs. And finally, the price of the EH500. This fixture costs $849 with free shipping in the lower 48 states with no additional tax. See the product page for additional discounts. Now what do you think about the EH500? Let me know in the comments below. And smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. This helps the YouTube algorithm display these videos to people like you. And subscribe to be notified for more videos like this reviewing the top LED grow lights on the market. Check out LEDGrowLightsDepot.com for the latest and most trusted LED grow lights. Link below. And follow us on Instagram too at LEDGrowLightsDepot for giveaways and other great content. Link below. Happy growing everyone.